The technology comes in the form of LiDAR or laser imaging detection and ranging. LiDAR can be used to make detailed high-resolution maps or three-dimensional maps. The government of St. Lucia sought the services of Wilpert Incorporated and Geospatial Data Solutions Limited to procure and analyze the LiDAR data. The key role of the data is in the reduction of St. Lucia's disaster vulnerability. The primary use that we have for LiDAR data, which we have supported the government of St. Lucia with in this situation, was for the 3D mapping and generation of products to support uh, different aims, like for the disaster vulnerability reduction project. It's being used in order to help identify different areas that are at risk for natural disasters and to try to mitigate them in advance. Emis Lantwing provided quality control and quality assurance support of the LiDAR data acquisition. Lantwing explains the data acquired also has the potential to facilitate making informed decisions on constructing roads, bridges, houses and buildings, crop farming locations, crime prevention, and provide life-saving data on our coastlines. We had now two weeks training and we had the fire services, we had the police here, we had fisheries, we had forestry, we had really very, yeah, a lot of agencies here. And all of these agencies can use this data for something, infrastructure also. So because having this data, you have, you see also where the vegetation boundaries are. So you can define forestry. You can define and see where your forestry boundary is today. Or you could even find out what is the age of the trees, the type of the trees. The training exercises on LiDAR data was enjoyed by multiple stakeholders. This is Jacques Hinkson-Compton of the Disaster Vulnerability Reduction Project.